Hello, and how are we going? And today we're going to be talking about mashed potatoes. Amazing. <laughs> Hold on, we'll do it again. Shallots, they're like onions, only smaller. That's right, a seemingly simple, innocuous activity, but actually I've got some really great tips that'll make sure you never serve lumpy slop ever again. First thing we've got here, guys, is some royal blue potatoes. I think these are the best. Royal blues are the best mashers. Get a good peeler. So peeling potatoes. Can you just fast forward through this one? Great one to get the kids doing, get them in the kitchen helping. Great one to get your partner doing, get them in the kitchen helping. Next step will be to size our potatoes evenly. Best, I mean, look at all of them as one thing and sort of think, well, you've got to cut that guy in half. So this one you might get three out of. This one may be the same. Just give him a little trim on the end. We won't use it. That guy, that guy, a little trimmy there. Awesome. We're really thinking about the volume of our potatoes because we want them all to cook evenly. They're going in a beautiful pot with lots of salt. And we're going in with cold water, okay? Always starting from cold and bringing up. If it grows under the ground, as a general rule, we start from cold, above the ground goes into boiling water. Honestly, you want it about three to 5% salt, okay? So when you're thinking about how much water's in here, you've got a good liter, you know what I mean? Like really be quite generous with the salt. And as well, taste the water. If it tastes salty, good. If it doesn't, and come back after we've finished boiling them. It's, you know, there's nothing to see here for a while. You're not boiling potatoes. Our potatoes are almost finished boiling. We want to really be able to stab them and have them slowly slide off. If they're crumbling and falling apart, they're too far. We can't do anything about that now. Just get them out. But if they're not sliding off, no good. So perfect potatoes, just like the gnocchi episode, we're going to be dealing with <laughs> our mooli. It's gonna help keep our potatoes very light and it's gonna um, stop us from overworking the starch and ending up with sort of sloppy, gloopy potatoes as this culprit gives you. We're also gonna use cream and butter. We're going to take our potatoes off and strain them now. We're gonna put them back on the stove to dry them out really well in the pot. All of the steam that comes out of there is basically water that's leaving the potato. We're gonna replace that water with delicious fat. <laughs> and that's why we're gonna make really, really fantastic potatoes. In a separate pot, we are melting our butter. Then we're gonna add our cream and we're gonna bring this up to scalding just below boiling. We started with 1.1 kilos of potatoes, for which I'm going to need 220 grams of butter. So that once our potatoes have mollied, we'll be able to go back in with hot cream and butter mix. Now the reason we keep that hot it's just the same as with our gnocchi episode. We're thinking about the temperature of the potatoes. That's very important. If they come down under around 80 degrees, the starch is starting to reform, and it's how we end up with very sort of pasty, gloopy potato that's not very nice at all. Okay, so we really wanna make sure that we're getting them in nice and hot. Our butter has melted, so I'm just gonna add in our cream now. If you add them in at the beginning together, you're gonna to have to wait for the whole thing to come up to like 45 degrees before the butter will melt. Melt your butter first and then add your cream. Our potatoes now, we're gonna mooly into this bowl. Just a couple at a time with our little home mooly here. Mooly! Alrighty. This is just, just below the boil. A little bit of salt in here, the sour. Okay, cool. So as soon as it starts to just get under boiling, tip that mix in there, and we're gonna go in with our potato into the hot pot, okay? And now using one of these, go in with half our mix first. Just work that in here. So we're just gonna go in with that one, just so there's no lumps. And here, and the other half, why not? So just gently working this in so that we don't make a giant mess. 
and then we're going to be able to turn the heat up and we're going to really whip this so it's going to be it's going to look quite loose until we start to work that starch on purpose for how we want it this is one that you definitely can't make in the food processor okay now we've got this lovely and smooth we're just going to let it get back up to temperature and we're going to work it okay and we're really going to whip this for a good five to ten minutes total and we're going to see it get very light very smooth check for seasoning and we're good to go mashed potatoes So guys, our potato looks incredible. It's been whipped now for five, seven minutes. Really what we're looking for. It's nice and smooth, really silky and shiny. It looks wonderful. It's incredibly soft, but it holds. And that's from working the starch and really uh, controlling that texture of the potato. Mate, when the mash is the banger, am I right? Oh, why not? It's the best mashed potato you're ever gonna need, guys. Thanks. Whatever. Shallots, they're like onions, only smaller.